My name is Amber Collins. I'm from Tusculum College. I'm a senior history major there. My topic was legitimizing farm work, the change in domestic labor. Um, my topic kind of was dealing with primary sources mostly. It dealt with the um, perception of women in farm work, um, how their jobs weren't really recognized, and how that during 1900 to 1929 they were appealing to the Department of Agriculture and the Department of Labor to recognize what they do in the home. They weren't necessarily wanting economic pay for it. They were just kind of wanting someone to recognize what they do. They asked for training to uh, enhance the skills that they had, such as cleaning, cooking, sewing, um, education of their children, and they were more wanting things that worked in their favor. Um, they wanted to define their work as an art form and not necessarily as something of economic pay because they believed that what they did in the house contributed to their husband's economic production outside of the house. Um, my research kind of shocked me because I kind of expected women to be wanting to leave the um, domestic sphere because that's based on some of the historiography that I've read. But on the letters um, from women from North Carolina, Kentucky, and Tennessee, they've kind of all argued that they like what they do in the home. They don't want to leave, um, despite the rapid industrialization and urbanization of the time period, that they want to stay in the home because they believe what they do is important. So um, it's kind of an interesting topic to me, but I believe that during the time period, women were seeking just to be recognized, that they wanted to have a defined gender role. And that it wasn't necessarily about the right to vote or the right to do anything. They just wanted to be recognized as women and recognized as their contribution for what they do for society.